Hello, everyone. My name is Sun Kexin. I come from Nanjing University, and it is my honor to introduce our work. It is exploiting the unique experiments for improved sentiment analysis in software engineering text. First, why we need sentiment analysis in SE tests? The widely used online development tools leaves abundant SE tests with personal sentiments. If we can customize automatic tools for sentiment analysis in SE tests, software engineering and programmer comprehension can be better supported. It has been proved that the sentiment analysis of App Store reviews can help software maintenance. For example, the inactive sentiments about the button can remind people to fix it. At present, there are mainly two methods to customize automatic tools for SE tests. The first is training particular SE tests. The second is building an SE special dictionary and use heuristic rules to assist it. Because the training method needs huge amounts of labeled data and has poor universality, we build our approach based on the dictionary tool, Sending Strength. Sending Strength is a dictionary-based sentiment classifier which is developed for common texts. For the improved text, Sending Strength will assign sentiment scores to each word according to its dictionaries and use rules to adjust the results. However, since Sandy Strength is not customized for SE tests, its performance on SE tests is not good. The table shows a sample SE tests that tools are easily to label wrongly. The sample is manually labeled as positive, but classified as negative by Sandy Strength because it assigned a negative scores to the word spite and couldn't recognize the turning relationship here. Meanwhile, it cannot correctly handle the domain specific word problem. In fact, Sandy Strength and other existing tools cannot provide reliable results on SE tests. We need to further discover how developers express their sentiments in SE tests. First, we find SE tests tend to express fewer sentiments. We will show these features through the following examples. It can be observed that the social tests express sentiments directly, where SE tests usually have to describe the issues first and then express the author's sentiments. Second, we observed that the structures of SE tests is more complicated. We also show these features through examples. The so whole text of social sample use imperative sentence to express blessing. In contrast, the structure of acid tests, which curtains the subjunctive clause, is more complicated. Thus, we argue that these differences lead to the unreliable results. The dispersed expression of sentiments requires tools to identify whether the author expressing sentiments in different parts of an acid test. Hence, the complicated sentence structures in acid tests become very important for us to set up filter rules to ignore positive neutral clauses and adjust the rules to enhance the output results. We proposed a three-step approach called session. Step 1. Preprocess. In this step, we filter out technical words, use Stanford NLP to segment, and use Stanford POS taggers to annotate each word with its tagging. Step 2. Patterns for filtering. To distinguish whether the author is expressing sentiments, we propose our filter rules. Only the sentence that matches at least one defined patterns will be considered as likely to express sentiments. In this step, we define four patterns. Direct sentiment pattern, decreative sentiment pattern, about me pattern, and judgment pattern. We will use two texts in the previous sample for dimension. The text 1 uses an emoji to express positive sentiments, and it matches direct sentiment patterns. The text 2 used broadly to decorate the word good. It emphasizes the degree of good and matches decorated sentiment pattern. Step 3. Adjust the sentiment analysis. We propose to use sentence structures to adjust the results of sentence strength. Here are three adjust rules. Recognize subjunctive mood. Identify polysemous mood by the sentence structures and deal with negations. We can see that the negative sentiments of the word problem in the sample will be ignored because it is in the subjunctive mood. The word spite will be considered to express the attorney relationship, so it won't be labeled as negative. We use four high-quality datasets as our benchmarks. The details of them are shown as below. We use position, recall, f-measure, and overall accuracy as our metrics. In order to study whether sentence structures can effectively improve the performance, we propose the following three research questions. To study RQ1, we introduce the three baselines. They are Sandy Strength, the basics of our approach. Sandy Strength SE, a dictionary-based tool that builds a new dictionary specified for SE tests. And Sandy for SD, a SE customized learning based tool that is trained on Stack Overflow 4423 datasets, which is also part of our evaluated datasets. To study RQ2 and RQ3, we will suspectively run sending strings with future rules only and with the adjust rules only on the four datasets. For RQ1, the table shows the performance of four approaches. We find that the tools developed for SE tests, here is Sandy Strength SE and Sandy 4 SD, can often achieve higher positions in sentiment texts, but to suffer a low recall. Tools developed for social tests, here is any strength, can often achieve higher recall in sentiment text, but to suffer the loss of position. 
In contrast, our tours can achieve a good and a balanced performance in position and recall and a better generalizability when compared with the learning-based tool. For RQ2 and RQ3, the data is shown in this table. Our overall conclusion is that our filter rules and adjust rules are complementary to improve the performance of session, meaning that both of them are essential part of our approach. Next, we will talk about some possible threats to the valid of our experiments. First, is inner threats. A possible threat is that we cannot guarantee 100% accuracy in segmenting and recognizing POS taggers. To solve this, we may introduce NLP tools that are specified for SE tests, curtaining both natural languages and code snippets in the future. Another possible threat is that our observation on SE tests is not thorough enough, and we need to make a more comprehensive study guided by the related social theories. Second is external threats. The size of our experiment is not large, but we still consider our findings relevant because we use four widely studied datasets in the research of SE-specified sentiment analysis. We also find that the standards of manually labeled sentiments can vary in different datasets. For example, Stack Overflow 4423 views the word work as positive when it means to effective something, where Stack Overflow 1500 often views these words as neutral. We suggest that it would be favorable if the SE community could agree on a unified standards for manually labeling sentiments on SE tests. At last, we will show some possible directions of our future work. First, as mentioned above, we plan to further explore how and why developers express their sentiments in SE tests under the guidance of related psychology and sociology theories. Second, we plan to propose an SE-specified dictionary by consulting existing work. Third, we can further explore the relationship between sentiments on SE tests and the status of going on software development recorded in the repository. Thanks for listening. Questions are welcomed. Okay, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session of, on text analysis for program comprehension. My name is Gemma Rodriguez Perez from the University of Waterloo in Canada, and I will be the session chair. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, the author for the presentation. And uh, let's jump into the questions. So um, I cannot see any question in the chat. So I can I can ask my, my question here. So what application scenarios can you talk about your work? Uh, as mentioned in our PPT, the other's paper has proved that the sentiment analysis of the App Store reviews can help software maintenance. Uh, the negative sentiments in the text can reflect the potential problems and the functions which the users are not satisfied with. And the awareness of the problems and the dissatisfactions can uh, help developers to better improve the there are works. And in addition, some of my schoolmates are uh, cooperating with the enterprise. They extract the sentiments from the, from, uh, the text of the Inno forums and the studies whether the sentiment and uh, information can help the enterprise uh, uh, management or monitor the status of the going on software development. And we also find that there is a special IEEE software issues called the sentiment and uh, emotion in software engineering. It is also discussed that the awareness of the one's own sentiments or those of the others are crucial for a, a company and uh, many other stakeholders involved in the software development life scope. Circle. Okay, great. So great. Thank you for that answer. Um, probably just a very quick question. What is the most effective filter or rule in your approach that you think everyone should do for sentiment analysis and software engineering? Uh, I think the most effective filter rules. I think it's the. I think future rules about the direct sentiments is more is the most uh, effective rules. Okay, 